A brand new crew has been released in Infinite Galaxy. In my previous video, I talked about this. I didn't know it was already dropped, so that was my problem. Now, today, we have the new crew that look like a character from Aliens vs. Predator. This is Ghost. This crew will be available in the Cosmic Ocean event. If you haven't seen that yet, make sure to check out my previous video. Now, this crew is really interesting because it's going to provide command points, combat, and as well as tech. Not very much on logistic, which that's good. We're not supposed to expect as much on logistics. Since we did just see a recent release of a logistic crew, which is Shire. Now, this crew is great because now... We have one more crew next to be released, and it's going to be a destroyer crew. This is a cruiser crew, and as I was going through the crews in here for the legendary, I realized, I know I had this before, but I never thought about it again, um, that there is actually no cruiser nor destroyer crew. Frigates have a legendary crew, which is Paul Malthus. And this is going to give it like 193% frigate armor at the max level. If you look into other crew, you're not going to find any crew that is going to buff cruisers nor destroyers. So the next crew that will be released is most likely a destroyer crew. So that is going to be really exciting for my part. So um, Ghost is a very unique character. Because this character doesn't have, you know, the face. Like, we can see the normal faces of each crew members in here. But this one has a full-on mask covering. Is he a extraterrestrial being? I don't know. Or is he a man with a mask and just literally having all these amazing technology? And what is this weapon that he has? Is it a rail gun? Right? I don't know what it is. So, Ghost is a cruiser base crew, which gives 49% at the max level cruiser attack and 49% cruiser shield. Now, I kind of like this because it's also going to give total warship attack at 21.7%. I think this is pretty OP. Let's take a look into the cruiser buff onto the epic. When we look at Captain Goodman, we're actually seeing double of that stats onto the legendary, which is expected. But we're also going to get, oh my goodness, this warship attack for that crew. Um, this is going to boost every type of warship, which is really great for being in the crew formation. Now, if we decide to make him as a captain, you're going to get 71.5% onto the cruiser attack and as well as cruiser shield. That's actually a good boost for cruiser main. Now, if you are a player like me who is a destroyer that runs multiple fleets as well, this might be good for you to put it on your crew formation because you're going to be able to get some total warship attack bonus. Now, if he is a captain, you are going to get 32.7% at the max level of this now in my opinion i think you get really good benefit from the cruiser buff as a captain since this game we lack a few captains in here right there's we need a lot more released i think this would be a good captain for cruisers and it would be a good crew for those who are running with like frigates main or destroyer main that's my assessment here for now it could change in the future but if i get ghost he will most likely most likely go into my crew formation because this benefit alone is quite huge 21.7 percent Total Warship Attack. If we look into a crew that bring in Total Warship Attack, we can compare it to Bruno. As you can see, Bruno has 21.7 Warship Attack. Now, for now, I'm thinking it will be going to my crew formation and I will move somebody out of the crew. But he might just be quite interesting to be as a captain as well on my cruiser fleet. Now, I want to know what your strategy is with this let me know in the comment section below what would you do with ghost if you are able to obtain ghost 
Anyway, my intergalactic friends, are you excited for Cosmic Ocean? Let me know in the comment section below, and I will see you again next time.